Hi, this is Amy, your librarian. You may remember me from a few weeks ago. We met in Curry 202. It's a long time ago. I'm back today to talk to you about Service Learning Report 2. This report will build on what you did in Service Learning Report 1 by letting you dig further into the work your service learning site is addressing by researching the underlying issues your site is addressing. Before we dive into searching, please take a minute to brainstorm some issues you think your service learning site is working on. For example, if your site is Hope Academy, you might choose to focus on the achievement gap between African American students and white students. So feel free to pause this video while you brainstorm. I'll wait. Okay, now that you've brainstormed, we have some things that we can search for in the databases. So let's head to the library's website, library.uncg.edu. From here, you can click on Research Guides and then Communication Studies. And then over here on the left, you'll see the link that says CST 200. So that's where you can go to find databases with articles from magazines and scholarly journals. Today we're going to go to this useful databases section and we're going to use Academic Search Complete, which is a database that covers a wide variety of topics. I'm going to click on the name of this database and log in with my UNCG username and password. Just kidding, I didn't have to do that, but you probably will. It's fine. Once I'm in the database, I'm going to type Achievement Gap in the box. I'm just going to start with that. Let's see if I just scroll down a little bit. Hopefully I'll see some things that look interesting. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Okay, I'm going to take a look at, hmm, Ooh, this one sounds interesting. I'm going to take a look at this one. I'm going to click on the title to find out a little bit more about what this article is about. And if I scroll down a little bit, I can see the abstract, and that is what's going to tell me what this article is about. So it looks like this article is talking mostly about funding. So maybe that's not really very helpful to us because it doesn't look like they are, um, you know, providing any sort of solutions to the problem. They're just talking about the difference between um, the amount of money per student um, and poor and wealthy school districts. So let's keep moving on. Um, let's see. Oh, this one sounds cool. Closing the achievement gap in disadvantaged communities. Lessons from successful schools. I'm going to click on that and see what's going on. Um, okay, so this sounds like it might be interesting, um, except that it's about South Africa. And that, I think, is a little bit too different. Um, than what than what we're talking about here with Hope Academy. So um, maybe what I can do to help myself out a little bit, maybe see if I can do a search for tutoring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add tutoring as a second keyword. So now hopefully I'll find all the articles that are talking about the achievement gap and also tutoring maybe as a way to try to find places who are actually attempting to fix the achievement gap through tutoring programs. Let's see. Hmm, this one sounds interesting maybe. An academic curriculum will close the academic achievement gap. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. This is about school-wide programs, basic knowledge. Um, okay, so that maybe sounds like we're getting a little bit closer. Um, 
Let me see, beginning reading instruction, tutors and tutoring. So maybe I need to try something a little bit different. Maybe I should try after school programs. Maybe that will help. Um, okay, so this one sounds interesting. Diverging experiences during out of school time, the race gap and exposure to after school programs, maybe. So this says, okay, well, this is interesting. Um, this one might possibly be helpful. So if I want to take a look at it, I can click on the title or I can click on the full text link that says, so I can open up the actual article. And let's see, it looks like it opened up. There we go. Okay. So maybe I can find some information in here that might be helpful. Um, this looks like they're actually tracing the number of children who actually are in after school programs. That might be interesting, maybe. Um, let's see. This is talking about who chooses after school programs. Um, this might be a little bit too old. Maybe I'm going to keep looking and see if I can find something else that's a little bit more current. Um, just so you know, if you find yourself getting things that are really old, you can come over here to the left and narrow it down a little bit. So I'm going to say maybe stuff since 2010. That might help a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, effects of an after school early literacy intervention on the reading skills of children in public housing communities. Now, this is not exactly like Hope Academy, but it sounds like the same sort of program. So an after school program um, for children in low income neighborhoods. Um, and it looks like they set up programs in a few neighborhoods, and then they compared them to students who lived in similar neighborhoods that didn't have access to a program. So hopefully this one will tell us a little bit about, well, hopefully what it will say is that it's beneficial for them to have access to this program. Um, I assume that it does, otherwise they probably wouldn't have written the article. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Let's see, I'm just, their measures, okay, so it's telling us a little bit about the information they collected about the children, and then hopefully if we, you can see a little bit of information about like the demographics, um, it looks like that was mostly um, African American students that they, let's see, a lot of charts and graphs. Okay, so let's see. This is the discussion section. This is usually where you can find the good stuff. Um, that's where they're going to talk about what worked and what didn't work. Um, it says specifically after school program participants demonstrated better reading proficiency over time. Um, this is in other studies. They did similar studies and they found similar results. Um, so that might be so this is the kind of thing that they're talking about so then at this point i can go back and say uh, look at what the program was and what they did and then how it was helpful so i could potentially find some really good stuff in here um, so i would probably use this article as a as one of my sources if i was doing this particular topic um, so again if you want to save it for later. You can just save it to your computer, which you're probably working on. You can send it to yourself as an email by just typing in your email address. Um, also, keep in mind there's a site function where you can see a citation. It's usually not completely correct, but it's usually pretty close. Um, and you can check it against um, an APA citation guide um, that you trust. 
So yeah, so that's how you can find an article. Um, so just to sum things up, keep it in mind as you're doing your own research. Um, think about putting one keyword or one idea per box. So you see how we have achievement gap in one box. That's kind of one idea. And then after school programs in another box, because that's a separate idea. Uh, think about synonyms and related terms that might help you find information. Remember that the first thing you type in may not be the best search, and that's okay. Um, you saw me. It took me a couple tries to get to a search that I felt like had some good stuff in it. Um, please also feel free to email me if you have any questions at all, um, and also email me your articles once you find them, and I will tell you uh, or give you feedback on them. So thanks for listening. Feel free to email me if you have questions.